Good morning guys! It's actually 1 p.m. and happy afternoon! <laughs> Welcome to another vlog. I have not vlogged for a while. I took a week and a half-ish off of this channel because I just wanted a break. I felt like I had just been producing, producing, producing content for so long and I was getting burnt out. You guys probably know by now I am back in my house. We have been here for like a week and a half and every weekend we've been going back to the mountains. This past weekend, it's Tuesday right now, we went with family friends who were looking to buy a house up there from Florida. They drove up here and then we went to the cabin so we spent time with them and now we are back in the house now and my grandparents are coming up this week and I'm really excited. I haven't seen my Mimi or Papa since January and I'm really excited. I just miss them so much. Something just recently hit me and I was like, I really miss my grandparents. So I'm so glad we get to see them soon. That's not the point of this vlog though. Today, Cole and I are going to be going to Petco or PetSmart to get me some more fish. If you don't know, I have a fish tank right here. It's a tiny little 10 gallon. I've had it for a while. I had two fish, Noodles and Chick-fil-A were their names. Over Thanksgiving, I went to Texas and Cole fed my fish for me and I came back and they were dead. Cole overfed my fish, which made them die. So I haven't had fish since then and since I'm back at my house now I feel like it's a good time where I can actually take time to feed them and like raise fish I haven't shown them very often because there's none in here here's what it looks like though it's just beautiful it's a white tank I figured this would be a fun little thing to vlog it is 2 p.m. in the afternoon right now and I'm just going to get ready a little bit not that much but I have been so bummy for the last like week and a half I haven't worn makeup or put on real clothes or an outfit in so long so I just want to get like a little ready not glam not ready ready but like a little ready for instance put a bra on because um <laughs> that's probably my least worn quarantine item can you guys tell just how much happier i am to be back in my own room it's incredible i love it that is the plan i've been drinking out of my katie cup these are my tumblers by the way i feel like not a lot of people know that i do have tumblers i love mine i drink out of it all the time you don't have to have a straw with it but i do and it has like this little thing they are perfect they keep your coffee so hot and your ice water so cold i drink this all the time they're so nice and they're so cute oh they're also dishwasher friendly so if you want to buy one the link's down below now i'm just gonna be putting on a tidbit of makeup i actually posted my main channel video yesterday where i decluttered and got rid of all the makeup in my makeup collection that's on my main channel katie's corner if you didn't see it go watch it i literally threw away 95 ish percent of my makeup collection since i barely wear any makeup it's so good and i'm so glad that i did it and it makes getting ready just so much easier because i have like my five favorite products wow i do look like an egg. <laughs> I figured I'd do just a little chit chat, get ready with me very fast because I haven't done a chit chat get ready with me in so long just because I don't get ready. So I figured we'd do one of those. I'm just gonna do like brows, mascara, maybe a teeny bit of concealer. We'll see how I feel. How's everyone doing? I'm genuinely curious. You guys are the vlog channel, so you already know. The state of Georgia is back open, which is nice. I'm still not going that many places. I say that as I'm literally gonna go to Petco, but I haven't been like anywhere. I've been to the grocery store a few times, but of course we like wear masks um, oh by the way i'm gonna be wearing a mask today when we go in the pet smart i'm still taking most safety precautions staying to ourselves as you guys know and so it's just been good to like see the world open a little bit back up now i know not everywhere is open but i feel like slowly we are i'm a junior now <laughs> i finished sophomore year my sophomore year of high school ended last friday which was just a few days ago so i'm officially on summer for all of you people wondering. I finished out with all A's and B's. I'm so happy. I'm now an upper class bin, which is crazy to me. Like what? Where did the time go? I'm halfway done with high school already. Don't even ask me because I don't know. Couldn't tell you couldn't tell you. I've also been in like a cleaning crazy mood recently. When we first got back to this house like a week ago before we went to the cabin again, I cleaned out so much stuff like my closet, all that. Then I did my makeup collection and now I did my room. I went through more of my closet, my dresser. You guys know the drawer didn't close. It was broken and I finally went through it. I'll show you guys on here. I literally organized all my shorts. So, so this is all shorts. These are my boxers, my sweat shorts, jean shorts, Nike shorts, comfy shorts these are leggings down here is all my pants so this is like sweatpants jeans skirts leggings these are still bikinis that i'm doing a bikini haul for i don't know what it is i've just been in the cleaning mood you guys know i'm already going through my midlife crisis where i want to redo my room so i feel like that's part of it i just want an older vibe to my room i feel like it's perfect it's me it's awesome but you know i took down two of my walls i still don't know what i'm gonna put there i haven't found out what i want to put on my walls yet i just want to clean and get rid of so much stuff i have so much stuff and i want to be able to give back donate and sell and give away to friends and family all that kind of stuff i just did my eyebrows they're a little chunky like i said 
that I literally haven't worn makeup, like barely this quarantine. I feel like my skills have just deteriorated. I can't believe it's summer. That's another thing. It just doesn't feel like summer to me. I should be going to the beach and going to Florida, all this stuff, going to sleepaway camp, but nope. I don't know how many of you guys haven't subscribed since last summer, but I go to a sleepaway camp every single year and I actually aged out last year. I obviously couldn't go this year, but my brothers go with me every year as well. They canceled the sleepaway camp um, because of COVID, which totally makes sense. It's just gonna be so weird not having them go because we've been going every single year. Last year was my seventh year. It's just been a thing in our family forever, like a two week sleepaway camp and no electronics out in the woods in Florida. And it's just not gonna happen. So that's weird as well. For us, we always know it's summer because of sleepaway camp. Like that's the one thing we all looked forward to. I don't wanna make this depressing or sad. It's just crazy. I can't believe it. Look at my mascara. It's ugly. All right, let's put some brow gel in. This is like my basic makeup. If I wanna wear makeup, but I like don't wanna wear makeup, mascara, eyebrows, that's it. I don't have any pimples right now, which is so nice. I've been having so much pimples. And finally, I feel like my skin is clearing up a little bit, so that's very good. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek if you missed my main channel video of decluttering all my makeup collection. But here is like the updated. This has mascara, brows, concealer, and like foundation and sunscreen. This used to take up like three drawers total, and now it's all in one drawer. Oh, I'll use this. This is from my haul on my main channel, my quarantine haul. I got this NARS concealer. I've used it once since that video, so we'll try it out again. Again today just because I do have quite some dark circles I bought this on a Sephora sale when they had their like 10% off it's definitely a little light for me especially with summer coming up it's fine for now until I get a tan I was tan for a while and then it got like cold in Blue Ridge where my cabin is so I couldn't tan as much anymore I talked about this before our boat is coming June 12th and I'm so excited my family bought a boat that they've been saving up for for so long once we get our boat I will be so tan like I promise you we'll spend so much more time there and I'll be so much happier there I love going on the lake and it will be on Lake Blue Ridge for the people that don't know I I'm gonna put some clothes on in a second and then get back to you guys when I have an outfit. It's not gonna be cute. It's just gonna be comfy. Here is the outfit of the day. I'm just wearing this plain neon tee. This is actually from like Walmart, I think. I've only ever worn this once and it was for neon out for my high school football game. I just wanted like a plain shirt that was bright and I just realized my Nike sports bra shining through it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is from Walmart. My friend actually bought it for me and I just paid him back. Then I'm just wearing these gray Under Armour shorts. They're super comfy. You guys know I love my sports athletic shorts and I'm wearing the Yeezys. I've barely worn them because we haven't been able to wear shoes anywhere because we're not going out but I was like the yellow matches like the yellow green vibe. These are just my Yeezys V3. They're my three-way butters. I love them. The fit is like sporty cute athletic girl. That's the fit for today. Cole is on his way now. I'm so excited to get some fishies. I just want to say last time I filmed a video where I was getting my fish the first time I got so much hate on that video simply because I went to three different pet smarts or pet co's, whatever. Three different people told me three different things when I was getting my fish tank. So I was telling the vlog what I was learning from the people at the pet smart and pet co. And everyone's like, that's not right. You're doing it wrong. You're not meant to raise fish. And I'm like, bro, they're $2 from your local pet co. Like it's not that big a deal. Everyone kept giving me different information. So if you're here to hate on this video, please don't. I don't appreciate it. I just want to be a fish mom. Like I said, here's the tank. I refilled it and cleaned it out yesterday when I got at home so we could get fish this week. I didn't know it was gonna be today, but <laughs> I did do this yesterday. I also added this filter that makes the water cleaner for new fish. I'm only gonna be getting two small fish in this tank because it is a 10 gallon, so you can't get more than that. That's what I learned. If you put too many fish in this tiny tank, they'll get aggressive and they can eat each other. I've had that happen before. I don't know exactly the fish I'm gonna get, but I have had so many fish in the past, like so many fish. They always seem to die. There's a common factor here. Wow, I feel like I'm being annoying, but <laughs> let me show you my closet. I read it a little bit. I've showed you guys on my Instagram, but here it is. My closet has always been in rainbow order, but I ran out of space, so I had to end up taking this space to put more clothes. It's rainbow order here, and then this is like dresses back here. These are like pullovers and soft sweatshirts. And then these are the rest of my tees, white, tan, black, gray. And up here is all of my hoodies, my hoodie collection. Also in rainbow order, I love hoodies, so I have so many. I went through all my tiny tank 
crop tops. I'm literally giving and selling all of these on my Poshmark or giving them to friends and family. These are the ones I'm keeping. I'm giving all these to my mom actually because I don't wear these and these are like plain tanks that she'll like. Also, all of this needs to be given away. I'm giving away and selling those on my Poshmark as well. Those are bikinis and then these all need to be donated to Goodwill when we can finally donate more stuff. Like I said, I've just been in a cleaning mood and I just want to get rid of all of my stuff that I don't need or use. Cole said, on the way. We're in the car now and they're doing major construction outside of my neighborhood, yeah. making a detour into the opposite lane in the same like two lanes of traffic. One is going this way and one's going this way. Cole had a little freak out, but I'm he's here down. now. I brought him his mask and it literally matches perfect. And my nose is too big for this thing. We're going to Petco. I have my mask, but I'm gonna flip it so the black side is showing because I'm embarrassed. Let me wear this, you kidding? You wanna it. wear, it's backwards. You wanna wear my Katie's corner mask? Ow! <laughs> Why'd it rip? Cool! It didn't rip though. I I heard it, but it didn't like... We're gonna go get some fishies. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to kill him again. <laughs> Shame on you. I didn't kill him Yes, though. he did. He literally killed both of my fish by overfeeding them. No, it's your fault. For what? Going out of town? Leaving me in charge. I literally asked you to do one pinch every two days. And I gave him one pinch. Get you know what's the worst part about it is they're still in the tank. <laughs> no, stop. Don't tell me all that. That is the worst part. They're <laughs> still in the tank. No, only one is. Because Cam got the other one out, but I don't hey, want to killed it. My I killed it a year ago. No, you didn't. It's just you rotting in the bottom it. of your tank. You killed it in November. What, what month is it, Katie? There's skin and bone. There's no skin. There's, <laughs> there's bones. There's little skin. <laughs> there's bones in the bottom of your tank. I'm not buying a new fish to go put them in there with the dead one. You don't have to buy them. Then they're going to die. You don't the have water to is literally contaminated. No, I cleaned it out. How come the fish is still in there? I didn't get the other fish so out. <laughs> we are at Petco. I'm not sure if they're doing like curbside pickup or if we can go inside. So they're doing curbside pickup. I'm gonna have to order <laughs> fish online. We're going inside now. Here we are. This one looks bougie. Mask up. <laughs> I can't Mask up. <laughs> can't see your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I have to cover your nose, not your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Walking through the road. <gasps> what happened? Did you hear My bony knee. Poopy. Come on, boy. Katie's YouTube content. Last time I was in here, I got right yelled here. at for vlogging. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Look at all the fitchies. Look at that one. That one's big, boy. Do you want that one? No, that's way too big. I have a tiny tank. Look at this one. Which one do you want? I don't know. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. This one's black. I've never seen a black fish. Yo, let's get this camo. I've had this one. Cole, this is the one that you killed. Oh this is the one that killed. Cole killed this yellow one. Turtles. Oh, oh my god. Hello. Hello, little guy. Hello. It likes me. Look. It likes me. Wait, why is this one just like chilling? <laughs> this one's head is peeping up. Wait, so. What about the goldfish? <laughs> I'm not getting a goldfish. I'm getting two of these glow fishies. That's the hardest part. They never want to get into the little thingy. I feel like the girl from Finding Nemo. You know, the one that's in like the dentist fishy, chair. Fishy, fishy. Yes, fishy, fishy. That's what I feel that's like. That's definitely what they're thinking about you. I know. They think I'm the crazy person. I like this guy. I his really like him. His name's Wilbur. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, they like me. They're scared of you. Hi, buddy. How's quarantine going? Oh, they're always quarantined. I just realized that. <laughs> we were able to go in the store, obviously. The worker was super nice. She was so nice. I thought she was going to be a little sassy, but she was very nice. And I ended up getting two glowfish, as you saw. I got a pink one and a yellow one, and they're so cute. They were extremely expensive. I've never paid more than like five bucks for a fish. These were like 11 bucks each. My total was $20. So... You better stay alive, fish. You better help keep Not them alive. Not till I get my hands on those things. We're back in my room now with my glow fishies. If you don't know, this is how you get a fish acclimated. Don't say that again. <laughs> it's how it works. You have to let it bobble in the top of the tank. They're so confused. They're like, why is there a dead one of me in the bottom corner? No, you have to let them get acclimated to the temperature of the water in the tank. Because if you put them from like that water to that water, they're not used to it. So we have to let them sit here like this for just like a little while. And then we take some water out of the bag. So it drains it so it doesn't overflow and then we let them go in there and then i'll take the dead fish out of the bottom of the tank sounds good good cole hasn't been in my house in three months since quarantine started uh, it's been longer longer than that it's been oh, a long time different. we're in the basement right now though and we're gonna play ping pong he actually just got the dead fish out of my tank i didn't vlog it because that's disgusting mellow Forgot about Cole because it's been so long. Oh, don't let her sniff you there. Everybody knows Kathy and Cole have a special relationship. Cole, baby, she missed you. Oh, dang it. Ready? <laughs> let me put my camera down. Hold on, this is gonna get intense. Alrighty, so I ate 
some hot chips and we went and skateboarded but now we gotta put the fish in the tank now so it's been in here for i don't know how long but it's 45 minutes i know yeah we outside for like 20. i'm the we, smart one here we have to poke a hole in this bag and take some water out so we'll put it in this one but i need to get a little poker <laughs> okay so you katie's gonna take the water out with the cup hold the cup there so i can pour the water it's pee peeing don't say that again okay let them gonna... um, in let, Let them, them swim in. in. Swim out, bubbies. <gasps> He's out. He's out. Oh my They're goodness. Like, I'm wow. a fishy mommy. The yellow one right here is named is Funyun. No. Anything but Funyun I'm fine with. The yellow one is named Funyun. Um, I don't know what the pink one is named. Jasper. Cole just left. We went on a walk on the golf course and it is so humid out outside. It's like 75 degrees, but it feels so much hotter. So I had to put my hair up. That's why my face is red. I'm like sweating, but he just left and I want to show you guys the final take. Obviously you saw it a little bit, but I'll show you again. Here it is. The fish are like gravitating towards this corner and I'm not quite sure why. This yellow fish, I don't even know if you can see it, but he just kind of wants to stay in the plant <laughs> and the pink one just keeps staying in that corner as well. Obviously it's their first day in the tank. They gotta get the feel of it, move around a little bit, but I think it looks nice. Good morning. You know, normally I say good morning in my vlogs when I wake up and it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. Well, today it is 8.46 in the morning. I've had a really rough morning, like really rough. Basically, I got my period last night at like one o'clock in the morning literally right before i was gonna go to bed and it wasn't that much so you know i just put a pad on it called it a night went to bed i was like dang this stinks i really didn't want to get my period this week i literally could not sleep because my cramps were so bad and this happens to me every single time i get my period i have the worst cramps and my flow is so heavy i just don't know what to do about it because i've talked to my mom about it and she got me like these strong pills they kind of work like it helps relieve the pain but it doesn't help my period be any less than it is a bunch of my friends are on birth control and a bunch of you guys recommended me going that but like i heard that can cause like a lot of symptoms and like that's just a lot of hormones that i don't feel like dealing with so i just don't know what to do for my period i woke up at seven o'clock in the morning because i couldn't sleep because my cramps were so bad so i started myself a bath which normally helps like alleviate the pain for like a little while i was in the bath for an hour till 8 30. i tried to go back to sleep but once i'm up like i just can't go back to sleep and it's been a long time since i woke up this early at 7 a.m you know, I didn't try to wake up this early on purpose, but it happened. So we're here. I don't know what to do. It's summer for me. I don't have school. If I had school, that's probably what I'd be working on. I was going to film my bikini haul today, like my try on portion, because yesterday I was feeling really confident. I looked in the mirror for once and I didn't hate what I saw for like, a, it's been a long time since I looked in the mirror and was like totally confident and I'm still not totally confident, but I was feeling a lot better than I had been for a while when I looked in the mirror yesterday. And so I was like, okay, tomorrow's the day. I'm going to film this bikini haul. I'm going to get it up because so many people keep asking me for it and obviously I need to film the try on which I'm already insecure about but I want to do it when I feel most confident and now I'm bloated and I feel bad. I keep staring at my fish tank because honestly they're like thriving. My fishies are so happy. At least I think they survived the night which was something I was a little worried about just because whenever you get fish the first night is always like the hardest. It's brand new for them. They got to adjust. They got to figure out their situation. I turned the light off last night when I go to bed and my dad turned it on this morning. He heard me starting a bath this morning. He was like, are you okay? Because I don't wake up at 7 a.m. He was like, what's wrong? And I was like, <laughs> Would you like to know? Oh, I didn't talk about the names either. This is a really long vlog. I just realized that. It's been a while since I vlogged. What can I say? I named them. I named them yesterday. I just forgot to talk about them. The yellow one, his name is Funyun. Because if you don't know, I love Funyuns. They're chips and they're yellow. Funyuns are so good and they're so underrated. So many people hate them. And then the pink one was hard because I didn't have a name picked out. I had a different name picked out for a different fish. But I really liked the pink fish and how like bright and neon it was. When Cole was here, I was like, okay, let's brainstorm. His ideas were all trash. <laughs> But I thought of the name Bubblegum and I really like that name. So it's Bubblegum and Funyun. I always have food names for my fish because I just think it's super cute. My last two were Chick-fil-A and Noodles. Now we have Funyun and Bubblegum. They're besties. Let me show you. I don't want to interrupt them, but I'm going to feed them a little bit. I was actually doing research on Glowfish yesterday because I've never owned specifically Glowfish. So I wanted to like make sure I'm taking care of my babies, obviously. It said to feed them a little pinch two times a day, morning and night. So that's what we're gonna do. When I was researching, fish can actually notice humans. Like they can see their faces, which is really cool. Cause I thought fish were dumb, but so am I. Here they are. As you can see, they really like this corner. I think it's cause they like that 
plant right there, but I googled if fish are attracted to colors and it didn't say they're particularly attracted to any certain color or just colors in general, but I think it's because all the tank is like one color and then that's really bright, so they like hanging out in that space. Whenever I reach my hand back here to get food, they get a little scared. Like I just try to do it really gently so they don't run away. This pink one has been exploring. She loves this side and this yellow one really likes this side. Okay, let's leave them alone. I know I was gonna vlog today. I'm getting my nails done. I know literally my last vlog was a nail vlog. I got them done two weeks and one day ago, or was it two, just exactly two weeks ago? Normally I get my nails done every two and a half to three weeks, but this time I literally bit them all off. I got acrylic nails with tips, which make your nails longer. During summer, I just can't keep long nails. And I know that about myself, but I really wanted to get my nails done and get them long because it'd been so long since I'd had them done last time. But now I'm just like, okay, reality has set in. Girl, you cannot have long nails. So I'm going back to the salon today to re-get them done. I literally bit all my nails off. It's like such a bad habit of mine and Kate knows it. You guys know Kate, my beautiful nail girl. I love her to death. I've been DMing her and she's like, I know you were gonna break them. Why'd you get tips? Because I love getting fun designs and fun colors on my fingers, but I can never keep them long enough to get fun designs. Yes, yeah, so all my nails are broken. They're all bit off. I peeled like the gel off of them. I decided that I'm just gonna have to get gel nails, which is honestly one of my favorite nails to get. It's just natural with gel, fun colors. They're the only nails I can genuinely keep well and groomed and not broken and ugly. My appointment's at one. It's now 8.55. I've been vlogging for 10 minutes. This vlog is gonna be like my longest one ever. How do we feel about a 20 minute vlog? Go off. It is now a little after 12.30 and it's just been an ugly day outside. It's rainy, it's cloudy, it's foggy, it's gray. It's just not pretty out. I haven't done anything since you last saw me besides put on an okay outfit. Here's my outfit. I'm just wearing like comfy to the nail salon. That's the vibes I'm going for. So I have my mask in my hand I have to wear this then I have this cropped little tank and then these champion sweats and then some Tommy Hilfiger slides it's easy it's simple we're gonna head on over to the nail salon now I've never driven in a vlog like by myself since I got my license so far so this will be fun and interesting I have my monies and my mask and we are gonna go we are in the Katie Coop now. I will not be vlogging and driving because that's just not what we're gonna do. But I'll see you guys at the nail salon. It's like a little wet out, so I gotta pay attention. Right now it's 12.35, so we'll see how long it takes me to get there. I made it to the nail salon, no harm, no foul. The only thing that happened was I was turning left and I turned left on yellow and then right when I was like in the middle, it turned red. So I think I'm good. I don't know why the light had to change so abruptly, but I'm at the nail salon now. I have my mask on and we are getting out. Let's see how bad my parking job is oh that's really good parking job actually that is a pretty good parking job okay let's go get our nails done alrighty so we are back in the car now that took a little longer than I thought it would it's 2 30 now I got there around 12 45 she didn't start doing my nails to like 1 15 though I got white gel and then Kate freestyled these freestyled freehanded these stars on my nails hopefully you guys can see i feel like the lighting's a little bright but it looks so good there's like five different colors of the stars and they're so cute i'm so glad she could do it on my like natural nail and i didn't have to get tips it's just gel polish that's it i really don't want to go home just because i've been in my room for so long like i said i woke up at seven so like i'm exhausted like i feel like i've been up forever this day just keeps on dragging on but also i don't know where to go or what to do i literally have nothing to do I just don't don't know. I'm probably just gonna go home. Well, that's it for this vlog I'm just gonna be bored and sad and in pain by myself today for the rest of the day I don't mean to be a little party pooper or anything But you know, I don't want to come on and seem like that I'm perfect cuz I'm not and I'm hurting today and I'm in pain and I'm sad and lonely. So just know you're not alone if you feel the same way, but I'm happy with my nails. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and watched me getting fish and my nails done. Subscribe down below and follow all my social medias down below. Buy the merch using the link down below and I'll see you guys in my next one.